Wasn't that a great listening session? Wasn't that really nifty going back and looking at and listening to the audio nets on the Sonyas and hearing the listening session with the DSA phono stage? Audio net electronics. What does this reviewer think of the sound of audio net electronics? Well, this is the first time I've had solid state in my listening environment that gave me the holographic imaging and palpability of tubes. The very first time. The sonic signature of AudioNet for me is an ease of musical presentation that you normally associate with high quality push-pull tube amplifiers and some single-ended amplifiers. They give you that spatial capture if a recording has it, you'll hear out-of-phase information coming around your head. I had a great listening session early in the afternoon. I called Thomas Gessler, the CEO of AudioNet, and I said, Thomas, uh, is there something, am I getting something other people don't get? And he goes, what's that? He goes, is that imaging around your head? It's like he knew what I was going to ask him because he knew that's a signature of his products. So if your system doesn't do that, if your system is more two-dimensional, if you hear the sound coming from two loudspeakers over there, I encourage you to audition AudioNet Electronics in your system. So I first put them in the system on the Sonyas. I had another competing amplifier from Ypsilon, that we, the Ypsilon Alias, which is a hybrid amplifier, that's extremely layered mid-range. And you put the audio nets in their place, and it was didn't have the layering of the mid-range of the Ypsilon, but what it did do, it had the rest of the sound of the bass, mid-range, and treble all coherent and more of a effortlessness around your head, I, if I'm explaining that properly. Again, Ypsilon, extremely layered and extremely musical in the mid-range. Audio net, top to bottom, a little bit more coherent in its spatial presentation and more three-dimensional. So if you're looking for layering going deep and depth, and you're looking to go way back in the depth of your room, like, like HP would tout, his systems would do at Seacliff back in the, in the golden days of early hi-fi, the Ypsilon will do that for you. It's an amazing amplifier, the Ypsilon Alias. If you're looking for more of a gentle approach with a more holographic spatial effect, it's the audio nets. So the audio nets are going to give you more, more of a more soul, top to bottom. The Ypsilons are going to give you more mid-range excitement, and it's and they're going to give you more of that kind of that layered high-end feel that a lot of us really seek out. Very, very different approaches. Both very, very valid. Any given day I would choose one, another day I would choose the other. The AudioNet, though, if you value spatial imaging and presentation like we hear in real life, that's going to get the nod. I'm smitten by these amplifiers. I've had the AudioNet electronics on three reference loudspeakers. The YG Sonia, the MBL 101 EMAR 2, and now the Perfect 8s. And on each speaker system, you could tell what the audio net signature is. And that's one of spatiality and holographic imaging and correct tone. And if you value these aspects of sound reproduction, you have to put these amplifiers and the pre-G2 line stage on your short list. They really do deliver the atmospheric aspect of music in your room. It's extraordinary for a solid state amplifier to do that. And you look inside the amplifiers. Very short signal path. Again, they make their own op amps. I mean, these guys are techno whizzes. In fact, years ago, BMW was looking for a crossover designer for the Nautilus loudspeaker. They put out an RFP 
the team from AudioNet won the contract. So that Nautilus speaker that you see, electronics designed by AudioNet. These guys know what they're doing. If your system doesn't have a dimensional aspect of sound that you're looking for, you have to check these amplifiers out because this is what they do. And they also give you the music and they connect you to the essence and soul of the music. The pace and rhythm of audio and electronics is more like a good tube amp. It really draws you in. It draws you into the flow of the music. And I don't find that with many amplifiers. Now I love amplifiers. I mean, going back to the some of the early articles I wrote in the Absolute Sound, I had a picture of a single-ended amplifier survey of amps covering my floor. I mean, it was a virtual amplifier farm. And this reminds me of that. That magical soul that the single-ended can do, the audio and the electronics does that. You know, that was, a, that was a while ago. Time has advanced and the technological team at AudioNet is certainly crackerjack to design an amplifier that does not sound like solid state, but yet gives you the bass and the control over your loudspeakers with an extraordinarily high damping factor that only solid state can do. So you have the power and grip of the best of solid state for your woofers, and that's where the foundation of music is, down in the bass. And if you get the bass right, and the mid-range and treble is reproduced accurately in a wide bandwidth design such as AudioNet offers you, you have everything that you could possibly need from an electronic standpoint to drive your loudspeakers. Because what we're really doing here is with an amplifier, with the Audio Net Max amplifier, it comes out and shakes hands with your loudspeaker. And this can shake hands with any loudspeaker and control those woofers, which will give you a strong foundation for the rest of your music. And mating the Audio Net Max with its reference pre G2 line stage, you're getting even additional more space and tone to the musical presentation. I had pulled the pre-G2 out of the system and tested a, another solid state line stage and I, I couldn't wait to put the audio net back in the system. When I put the audio net back in the system my sound went from being over there in more of a two-dimensional space to across the whole room and around my head with out of phase material. There's nothing like it. It has a soul of solution. The base of the classic Krell, the layering and mid range of VTL or VAC in a solid state package. And it's tidy and it's only that wide and it's only that tall with the amplifiers and the preamplifier or line stage. It's only about that wide and it fits on any equipment rack. As you can see, they're stunning to behold. As you should hear, they're stunning to listen to. If your system is not giving you what you want, if you like your speakers, but there's something lacking, a connection to the music, a lack of soul, a lack of space, a lack of atmospheric reproduction. I encourage you to reach out to your AudioNet distributor and audition the Pre-G2 and the Max amplifier. And I've also been using the DNC, the AudioNet digital network client, as my DAC. And that just gave me even more of that same sonic signature of space and reality 
in my listening environment. These are cues that are very important to me. For without these cues, we're, we could be listening to a vintage Victrola. It's what we're in the hobby for. We're in the hobby. We enjoy music being reproduced in its highest possible resolution in all aspects of it. Space, time, phase, and that's what these deliver. AudioNet from Germany. If you haven't heard of it, you have now. And you have to listen to it. You have to listen to it in your system. These are the best sounding solid state components this reviewer has ever heard. AudioNet from Germany. Stunning musical reproduction. Extremely wide bandwidth. Holographic imaging. What more do you want? They deliver to me everything desirable in a line stage, in an amplifier, and also with the digital front end. And taken together as a team, enable my system to deliver the most musically realistic sound I've yet to attain in listening studio one. AudioNet from Germany. Some of the best sounding components money can buy and they won't break the bank. Peter Bruning reporting Speech review on AudioNet from Germany. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please seek out AudioNet wherever you may live in the world, or you too may become a believer like I am. Happy listening from AV Showrooms. <laughs>